The NOTS EV-1 pilot, also known as NOTSNIK was an expendable launch system and anti-satellite weapon developed by the United States Navy's United States Naval Ordnance Test Station NOTS. Ten were launched during July and August 1958, all of which failed. It was the first air-launched rocket to be used for an orbital launch attempt, however, none was recorded as having reached orbit. Following the first and third orbital launch attempts, a tracking station in New Zealand reported receiving weak signals from the spacecraft, however, this was never confirmed, and the launches were not catalogued as having reached orbit. The pilot rocket was part of Project Pilot. Two variants of the pilot rocket were built. The Pilot 1, with battleship second to fifth stages, was used for ground launched atmospheric tests from China Lake, and the Pilot 2, an air launched version, was used for orbital launch attempts. Orbital launches were conducted from a stripped-down jet carrier aircraft, an F-4D-1 Skyrie, flying from Point Magoo Naval Air Station, and releasing the rocket over the Santa Barbara Channel drop zone. Of the ten launches, four were of Pilot 1s, and the rest Pilot 2s. The first air launch was performed on 25 July 1958 by NOTS research pilot William West, a career U.S. Navy officer. The flight originated from China Lakes airstrip at Inyokern. The jet fighter was placed into a steep climb. The rocket released automatically at 41,000 feet, and three seconds later the first two HOTROCs ignited. The pilot was distracted during this time the sudden release of weight had flipped his aircraft into a tumble. In mid-crisis, West looked up and saw what he thought was the vehicle exploding. He reported it that way, but John Nicolides, director of the Navy's space program in Washington D.C., later determined that the explosion was the plume from the rocket's motors as the exhaust expanded in the thin atmosphere. However, when ground control heard the report of the explosion, it ordered the ground tracking stations approximately six in number around the world to stand down. Thus only one station at Christchurch NZ remained on the air, it heard a beeping in the right place at the right time. However, the signal was not repeated, so the shot was declared a failure. The second air launch, in August, ended in a HOTROC explosion. The third air launch, on the 22nd of August, was again ambiguous. Radio contact with the ground was lost during the second stage burn, but the rocket appeared on film, departing over the horizon. The tracking station at Christchurch reported signals at the predicted times during the first and third orbital windows, but no further signal was received, so the mission was also declared a failure. The Navy initially reported a successful launch to the White House, but following the loss of signal, no public acknowledgement of the mission was issued. Project Pilot was cancelled in August 1958 and replaced by the NOTS EV 2 Caleb. The project remained classified until 1994. Following this series of tests, and the follow-on Caleb program being riddled with multiple failures, U.S. Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara decided to terminate the Navy's space program and assign all responsibility to the U.S. Air Force. The Air Force mounted one further air launch program in the mid-1980s, an anti-satellite missile launch system based on an F-15. Topic. Launch history Topic. See also Jaguar – sounding rocket launched from B-57